Hello everybody, um, Theodore here again. Today we're gonna uh, do okay a simple um, demonstration of using Git on two computers. So I have two uh, laptops here. Um, one is my yeah. What's the previous? That's the laptop that's used for previous uh, videos, and this is my second laptop, which I use for uh, more heavy duty stuff. Yeah, since it has a proper graphics card it can do uh, lots of uh, more neat faster simulation it's generally a faster but less mobile system so this is uh, let's say my my heavy duty laptop so to speak and because of the graphics card it can use a oh what do you call it CUDA CUDA for NVIDIA uh, where you can use a graphic uh, GPU the graphical processor unit for uh, fluid dynamic calculations so that's why uh, it's good to kind of swap between two computers. So this is the usefulness of Git. So I'm just gonna demonstrate, uh, um, yeah, making some changes on this computer and then up, uh, pushing it to Git, uh, GitHub, so that uh, you know it can, you can do what you need to do. So again, first thing, first we can make a directory, Git, uh, GitHub, uh, open form workspace so I'm gonna make that directory okay then next thing I want to do is actually do a simple cloning so git clone so remember just this was the these were the last steps in the last video so this is just to demonstrate that um, oopsie did I do something wrong control C all right Git clone here. Yeah, that's better. So yeah, I'm just downloading the stuff as usual. Pulling, pulling, uh, making a GitHub uh, file for this laminar boundary layer thingy. Okay, so. Yeah, looks like I got a message coming in. Ah, oh, never mind, we'll get it. Yeah, so I'm pulling stuff from Git, GitHub. Uh, there's no, no problem there. So it's receiving its objects, it's downloading. Hopefully the Wi Fi is working properly. Okay, so it might take a while because there, is, there are lots of files. Remember, our laminar files were quite. Uh, there are lots of uh, files anyway so um, yeah now it's done now we have the laminar boundary layer over there so let's go and try making some changes okay so it's really like a cloud computing thing and we look at the readme or we, we can do a git status to to see where, where we are we are on the branch master everything is good um, let's see cd blasius okay so Let's say uh, I want to change something. So let's go to the system file and we want to um, change the block mesh or change the control dictionary. Okay, this should be VI. VI control dict. Okay, so let's say we want to run it for another 0 0.5 seconds so what I do is I'll just delete this where is the delete button there it is uh, so it ends at 10.5 and then it starts at 10.0 so let's just just give it extended run so to speak then let's do uh, let's see the run file Okay, I can't use an all clean there, so I'll just do a blocker mesh. Okay, so it'll do the block mesh for me, and I'll do an ICO form. And it's going to run. Uh, okay, I forgot to do the log file. And then my. Yeah, it's a very short time. Yeah, so I let it run a while. Okay, so I'll go fast forward. 
Uh, yeah, anyway, what? Well, since it's running, let's, let's try to open Paraview. Trying to open Paraview in the meantime. And then we'll see what the last uh, 0 0.5 seconds uh, actually look like. All right, so we're quickly going to do that. You can see it's very uh, straightforward, this GitHub, once you get used to the terminology. Okay. So I've managed to sync it locally with this computer. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, sync it locally with the computer. Um, what's, yeah. And you just want to run it a while, then we go and upload the changes. So these are the simple things we can do. Just to, uh, just to, yeah, so-called update the thing. So we go to desktop. Uh, here, I believe. So you can see uh, it already has all the up to 10.5. So we just do this to see whether we can have our data. Let's go to you and play all the way. So if it works, this should actually reach 10.5. So it did reach 10.5 and we did, we see our boundary layer. And uh, I'm going to recalibrate as well as per normal. So rescale. Oops, uh, let's rescale again. 0 0.99 to 1 yeah so you can see the there's some kind of like the turbulence that's happening yeah as you as you uh, the time goes on that there, there, there's some turbulence actually happening uh yeah but uh, for example let's say we want to upload these changes or maybe in future we want to change some boundary conditions uh, we can do that as well um, yeah, but let's say let's say these changes are done. We are finished. Um, yeah, I'm gonna close this, and then uh, I'm going to do the same steps very quickly. Um, so git status is here. All right. So there are new files to commit. So again, same thing. Uh, wow. See, Git is so useful. It's actually helped us to identify where we have changed our uh, our folder. So we've actually run another 0 0.5 seconds, so to speak. So let's do a git commit. or oh, git add first. Git add dot. So let's do a git status to check whether it's successful. So now, you see there are new files being added. So no problem there. The git add is successful and let's do a git commit and then we leave a message of it run for another 0 0.5 seconds okay so now we can git push origin master so again we are pushing to the origin the, uh, we are pushing it to the, the web and we are looking for the master branch so we're just going to type that And then we're going to type in our username, my username. Username and password. So you see it's very, very easy to use. And before you know it, okay. You look at the, look at the file now. You're going to have our fifth commit. I'm just going to reload this page. See? The new ones here run for another five seconds so see all the 10.5 files are here so yeah github is pretty pretty good very, very useful the cloud storage and you can run it on multiple computers you just make sure you can do the syncing and all that um yeah you'll be fine it's a very useful tool um so just just to just this these uh, past three videos were just here to demonstrate that hey this GitHub thing is very useful. You can use it very quickly. Uh, and then you have a very strong version control. And GitHub actually tracks. Um, it tracks all the changes that you make. So And it can even tell you what language this is in. It's in C++. Which is right. Because OpenFoam is written in C++. Okay. So uh, let's see. Yeah. 
let's check whether there's a commit history yeah you can check the commit history you look yeah github will tell you whatever is being changed see all right so um yeah very good i uh, hope you found this uh, few videos on github very useful and ho hopefully you use uh, github for all the all the uh, open phone book you're doing yeah i'm kind of advertising for them but anyway so um yeah uh hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video where we'll uh, be doing other more interesting cases not just the laminar boundary layer all right thank you very much bye bye